Mr. Boland? It's been such a long time. Think your FBI paper pushers are a match for Sheridan's assassins, Amos? I don't. Keep your opinions to yourself, General Carrington. As you know, we can't proceed with the investigation without proof. No one can stop me from conducting my own investigation, you hear me, Amos? Number 13 will soon no longer be a problem. I've just finished my rounds. Do you still need me in this area? Okay, I'll head back to HQ. Feels like today's gonna be a quiet one, huh? Did you see the water this morning? Whoa, what's that? Hold on. I'll call you right back. Sir, can you hear me? Easy. Looks like a bullet wound. Can you move your legs? I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? Can you hear me? I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. Be careful! Damn it! Helen? It's Janet. I just picked up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no idea and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect, we're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? 
I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that? the mongoose we spotted the car I'll report back to the car. Get over here! He's alive but in bad shape! Freeze! It's payback time! Please step up to the teller, sir. Wait in line like everyone else. Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please.
as you can see, we've upgraded our security system. You can't be too careful in today's world, right? Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland. It's still at the far end of the room. Call me when you're ready to come out. The timer. Carrington was right. They took the bait. That's the mother load right there. The 20 would kill to get their hands on those files. <clears throat> we'll incriminate all of them from number 20 to number 1. What do you plan on doing on that boat? Confidential, huh? Oh, I get it. Well, if it's another one of that girl's ideas, I'd watch her sis. She's nothing but trouble. Go ahead. Set the bomb. Well, well. I don't get this security system. How do you lower the gates? Ah. Two Alpha One Eight gunshots heard in Winslow Bank. Requesting backup. Panic! Please, stay calm! is driving me crazy. If this robber would just take a hostage, then we could shut the damn thing off. Oh my god!
drop your weapon! Steve Rowland, you are under arrest for the murder of William Sheridan. deposition, you even added that you don't feel like a killer. How touching. But the law doesn't operate on feelings, now does it? It operates on evidence, which I have in spades. Emory, the snapshots, please. Look at this photograph. See the impact on the back of the head? Where did the bullet come from, in your opinion? That building there, see? Right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well, need I get a mirror, or are you finally going to confess to the assassination of... Agent Scott, line one. So where's that file? going to believe this, Colonel. Steve Rowland's military file is missing from the Pentagon, and they're positive your man was killed in a mission down in Mexico over two years ago. Well, his widow's in for a surprise. But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Rowland... What the hell's going on here? Get you out of those cuffs. Great to see you again, Steve. Listen, Mongoose has found you. Meet me on the roof. And don't go using G-Men for target practice, okay? The girl from the bank. Thank <laughs> you. 
suspects! He's got undercover officers in Brooklyn. That's where the guy was transferred. Hurry, 110 Sterling Street. My God, you're alive. I can't remember a thing. Seeing me again doesn't do anything for you, does it? I can't believe it. You really have lost your memory. Who are you? I'm Major Jones, first officer for General Carrington. Ring a bell? Carrington went missing three days ago. He was leading a parallel investigation into President Sheridan's assassination. He's the only one who can get you out of this mess. It's not safe here. Over the wall. Let's go. Here. I'll go first. He knows where they're holding Carrington. Over there, with the woman! Come on! Here! They're out of brain! Use the scope! on the other side. I'll cover you.
interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. An attempted robbery at the Winslow Bank this afternoon led to an FBI arrest of a man possibly connected to the assassination. Now shift to the safety of Senator Walter Sheridan, brother of the late president and candidate in the next presidential elections against the current president, Republican Joseph Galbraith. All clear. Get a running start. No time to check the view, let's go. I shouldn't have let you go on that boat alone. Jones, do you read me? I've got the info. Roger that. What do you got? Carrington's been arrested by General Stanwell. He's being held at Emerald, an isolated army base in the Appalachian Mountains. I still don't know why Stanwell wants to keep Carrington away from the vessel. I'm telling you, they're in there! Give me Over there, the chopper. We're gonna need it. I can't reach the landing strip. Taking off without me. We won't get far in this bird.
This can't be good. I told you not to let McDougal take the wheel. Don't get your eyes in the bundle. <laughs> Function. McCall's gonna kill us! Shut up! Oh, I should have never left Mexico! Deal with it, candy ass! I'm huffing it back to base! Fine, leave me to die then! This can't be good. I told you not to let me... Like something's going on over there. Wanna go check it out? Nah, I'll sit this one out.
I know how he is. He won't talk for hours. Why did that pinhead McCall need to mobilize this many men in the first place? Keep talking that way about McCall, or you'll end up like Blake. Enough already about Plain Rock Mental Institution. Blake just joined the Foreign Legion without telling anyone. Damn straight. I'll be doing the same if McCall keeps putting the deep freeze in our asses. I joined the spots to go to the islands, not this crap. Alert! Open the crates and start sorting the weapons! We load the truck in one hour! Move your asses! Deactivate the formation. They're pumping 10,000 volts through those ladders.
It was right behind us. I take a look. Forget it. Let him fend for himself. he's working with on the Sheridan case. If he clams up, take his cigars. That'll get the fuck talking.
freaked out here. Jake? What? Did you hear me, son? Did you hear me? You've got nothing left to prove with the Spence, son. I've got a Class A hero mission to offer you. I must question this man. Will someone get my damn cigars? Shut up, Carrington! Why did they stick me in here? Am I dreaming? My God. I can't believe it. My best man alive. Here's your HF transmitter. Jones. 
Can you read me? What? What do you mean, amnesia? Ah, oh, my cigars. <laughs> Look at this half-wit. Let's take care of them. Ready? Ready, son? Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leak. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> well done. Cover me. Those idiots still haven't found a way to fix this station. Come on, son, let's find that fuse. Get rid of these clowns, I'll brief Jones. Claire, Jones is waiting for us down there. Let's get out of here. Did you hear that? Cover me.
set his back, son. Damn, we were so close to finding the bastards. The night you disappeared, you were about to ID number one. But naturally, none of that rings a bell now. Listen, there are 20 of them, son. 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Captain Steve Rowland was one of them. The notorious number 13. He killed the president, but his accomplices betrayed him and hired the mongoose to kill him. And today, he actually is dead. Well, then who am I? They're back. Watch out! Get down! Chopper's just past the hill. We're gonna make it. It's 
The chopper won't stop. I need your help, General. Follow me. Cover us. I'll take a look at the end. Real fun, General. But isn't it time you told me who I am? General, come in, General. The Mongols and his men are coming for me. They know everything. I hear you, Kim. Stay inside. We'll get you out of there. This is it for me, General. You hear me? And what kind of mess is she gonna get us into this time? Fly a heading of 270. Kilani Lake is just a few clicks from here. Who is that? An agent working with us on the case. Salam! It was the wrong cabin! We can't locate the target! Keep looking! The mongoose is on his way! We'll hide the chopper. Notify us as soon as you see the cabin. <clears throat> Get it. According to the map, the cabin should be right under my feet. Well, find a shovel and dig. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Go left. I'll take the right. It's cold in here. Ah, crap. Forgot to feed the dogs this morning. What the? Oh. Picture. Relax. You see a woman who freaks out when she sees you. Just grab it. like shit. Then you can do better. <laughs> this hike is not acting so tough anymore, is he?
guys! Yoo-hoo! Oh, Pete. What's that? Bag. Shut the fuck up and give me your compass. Uh, I lost it. You what? <laughs> Welcome to Kansas, Dorothy. Welcome to Kansas, Dorothy. My God, you're alive! Kim, the girl in the photo. The surgeon did an outstanding job. It's coming to increase the dose of the fentanyl. Shall I start the tattoo? Go ahead. How do you feel, son? This is the widow of Steve Rowland, the man whose identity you've taken. Steve was number 13. I was 17. The leaders of the conspiracy had my husband killed by the mongoose. But Steve managed to drag himself back here before dying. One day, I'll know the faces of those who betrayed him. I've identified three members of the conspiracy. They're headed for the Spads camp to attend a secret meeting. You have to be there too. My part of the mission is finished. Now it's your turn.
RPG! Come on, let's evac now. I knew we shouldn't have trusted her. Take out the cabin! Now that I'm cured, Doctor, may I reintegrate my unit? <laughs> Pinhead! Pinhead! McCall is a pinhead! <laughs> yes, sir, Colonel! his wits. So, my friend, I hear you suffer from amnesia. This circle! Shut up! Relax. Plain Rock is blessed with an excellent neurology center. Well, has he spoken? Patience, he only just came to. Number one wants the names of his accomplices. That number 17 imposter may not be the only one who's infiltrated the group. Examine his chest as well. Tell me if you find traces of the three bullets I put in him. I'm starting to doubt this man's identity. I'll take care of it right away. Hose him down and bring him to me. No sudden moves, friend. Yes, sir, Colonel! <laughs> Bring me the soldier. Dr. Johansson's orders. Derek and Jerry will be disappointed. What's wrong with him? Okay. Oh, you lucky dog. Got the whole bathroom all to yourself. The 
Did you see that, Derek? Hmm. Looks like there's a new kid in town. Here, boy. Here, boy. Leave him to me. You can have him after. Someone give me directions. Uh, I'm not from around here.
software engineer. Let me out! Let me out! Don't you get it? If the patch isn't up by Tuesday, we'll never upgrade from 1501 to 1502, you hear? Never! It's not that bad, come on! Put your head back on! I have a brand new line of girdles to show you! Dr. Michael. <sighs> Good evening, Brenda. Anything new in the amnesiac? Still nothing. Good God, Johansson is livid. I can't stand him anymore. I'm going home. Tell him my wife is a fucking burger. My poodle is having a nervous breakdown. Oh, the poor thing. I remember when my Lulu. Whatever, Brenda. Congratulate your wife for me. to shoot. Repeat. Permission to shoot. Isn't 
stimulating enough, is it? What about this one? Now tell me, who killed the war seniors? I, I, I don't know! She died before experiencing my most powerful instrument! She was about to give in to me, did you know that, huh? Ugh, the least they could do is seal the vent from the... Please, don't shoot me! are scarce in Plain Rock, you know that? <laughs> They'll be dead, dirty little punk. Huh? Well, number 13. The doctor will see you now. Come on, time for your dissection cards. Over here. Sanctuary. There are 20 of them, so 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome the leaders of the group to my estate. And as the prestige of these surroundings is in keeping with our ambitions, <laughs> I hereby offer you the opportunity to organize our general meeting here. My transmitter, at last. Please. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh! Safety's off! Take me hostage! You don't have a choice!
Move away from the door. I have a hostage. Huh? Ugh. Hold your fire! Jones, do you read me? Loud and clear. I'm flying overhead. Get out of there! Hurry! What the? Oh my god! Oh, God, save me! Open this door, damn it! Get oh. behind the wheel, drive. Okay, just don't hurt me, please. Alone! You won't get anywhere in this ambulance. We're in the middle of the desert. There's nothing for miles. Mr. Boland? It's been such a long time. He knows we betrayed him. He wants revenge. Class A hero mission to offer you. He knows we betrayed him. He wants revenge. but I'll never forget you. Hey! Good luck! <laughs> Who was that? Stop playing around, will you? Mongoose and his men are coming down on I stashed the taxi at the bottom of the canyon. Here fast. Never forget you. Who was that? 
stop playing around, will you? Mongoose and his men are coming down hard. I stashed the taxi at the bottom of the hand. Get here fast.
just strangers in the crowd. <gasps> you can Okay? There's a way out behind the ruins. The plane's close by. Give me a grenade! Jones, finally. I feel like I've spent three months inside a tin can. Okay. What do you say we hop on down to Mexico, Captain? Hmm. Margarita's on the beach? More like Rangers and Red Berets. Tighten up your panties, we're going super sunny. Colonel McCall runs this badge training camp, and Kim suspects he's part of the conspiracy. He won't be running into many intellectuals down there, mostly black ops, knuckle draggers. This could be another one of that blonde's con jobs. I trust her. Uh-huh. You save her life, and she splits. Jealous, Major? Just get in the damn boat. Watchtower and look out for searchlights. Think they're goddamn John Rambo. Where the fuck did McCall get those fools from anyway? Wherever it was, he sure assembled one hell of a crew.
Visitors, Captain! What do we do? Nothing. Keep loading the submarine. But we might be spotted! What did I just say? Carry on! Yes, sir! Let's not bother number one with this problem. In any case, 13 has no power to disrupt the plan. My men are standing by, General Stanwell. He's been causing quite a ruckus since his resurrection, but our first maneuvers are going ahead as planned. I admire your optimism, Colonel McCall. Now, how about a tour of the camp? I'd like to have a look at our weapon stock. Certainly, General. Right this way. Perfect. Now find McCall's tent and plant the bug. No! He's rival! Oh, I remember. They were always competing. Whatever happened to him? I think General Carrington hired him. That was the last I heard. His name was Jason Fly! Hey Fly! I'm out on leave tonight, so don't make me look bad while I'm out. Just because you won yesterday's exercise doesn't make you a hero around here. Steve Rowland. The man whose identity I took. Just strangers in the crowd You can fly You can hide You can close your mind But I'm still on the run You can fly You can hide You can close your mind But I'll rise like the sun Love has tricked us Just forget me Me What is me anyway?
apparently McCall's in the same tent he used in Desert Storm. That should give you an idea of what it looks like. behind the intercom. No one can see us here. No one. No thanks. Saving your lungs for the maneuvers? Yeah, I can't wait for the action to start. Nah, it's just a simulation, you know. I have a feeling there'll be more to it than we expect. Gather round, gentlemen. This is number 11. Do you read me? Affirmative. Go ahead, number 3. Good evening, number 1. President Galbraith still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the SPADs to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number 5. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number 9 will hand it to me at the plaza. Over. Number 11. The arms shipment will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Over. Excellent. What about number 13? I have his military file here. I removed it from the Pentagon to block the FBI's investigation. Good. As for number 17, no need to continue this search. I have something here that she will definitely come and claim. This meeting is adjourned, gentlemen. Good night. I'll walk you out. It was a privilege to meet you, Colonel McCall. He's even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow this thing wide open. Where McCall plans to send his stock of weapons, but we're gonna blow it up.
shit, that was my last one. Now get back to the boat. What the hell's going on? I told him not to smoke around the hangar. Watch out! It could blow again! Now get back to the boat. What the hell's going on? I told him not to smoke around the hangar. Watch out! It could blow again! News, the spads found the boat. Find another way out.
Number one underestimated your skills. He wants to reintegrate you into the group. Drop your weapon, man. Let's talk about this. entrance to the base. It's your only way out. My God! You're alive! that explosion earlier? Apparently Steve Rowland did it. What? I thought he was killed in action. Yeah, that's weird. Whatever. Everyone's going back up. We'll find out soon enough. We better. I'm getting antsy. What the? Duty officer requested at Central. She figured I'd take her out to some romantic spot for the weekend. I mean, who does she think she is? So what'd you end up doing? Closing security hatches.
Tech in five minutes. to dive.
Reporting is ordered, Captain. I don't want to be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Yes, sir, Captain. Submerging. Submerging. This is number seven. I repeat, this is number seven. This is number one. Over. I moved up the USS Patriot's departure for the protection of the ship. The Spatz camp has suffered heavy losses. Number 11 is no longer with us. Change your course and cast off for Maryland Harbor aboard Resolute AFDM-10, but carry out your mission. Complete your mission. This is number 17. Carry out your mission. In a few seconds, I'll contact number one. Try to identify the man who answers my call, and we'll finally figure out who number one really is. Number one? Number one? Number 17 reporting. Do you copy? This is number one. What's happening? I passed on the latest plans to number 11. Standing by for your instructions. You weren't supposed to call me until you got the signal. Number 17? Hello? Number 17? I can't read you. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10, over. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Fore and aft submerged. Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10, over. Prepare to dive. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Fore and aft submerged. Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye.
Here's a nice spot to stow away. Immersion to 60 feet. Check all hatches. Steve Rowland, you are under arrest for the murder of William Sheridan. Never make it out alive, Roland. We'll both blow up with the missiles. I'd rather die here than tell number one we failed.
unload everything. <clears throat> We've lost contact, Colonel. Has someone at least tried to open the airlock? <clears throat> it won't open. Send down some divers. I want to know what's going on. Yes, sir, Colonel. Jones, do you read me? I'm just leaving the airport now. Carrington's taking it from here. He'll pick you up outside Hangar 33. Up there! Secure the explosives to the propeller. Bad place to be. I better turn back.
<laughs> Stay posted and hang around for you. I'll find out what's going on in HQ. Still no news from Colonel McCall. <laughs> Negative. I can't get through to the camp. Nothing works around here. Maybe it's the camp that's having the problems, Captain. Why is the captain so jumpy? <laughs> McCall hasn't radioed for 24 hours. I heard the camp's gonna be relocated for security reasons. You can kiss your gear goodbye. Cause if we gotta relocate, you can forget about packing. I just hope we stay in the south. But if the Pentagon panics, we'll probably end up stuck in some underground base somewhere. I should maintain radio silence.
General Carrington tells me you have a present for me. Give him Roland's file, son. Captain Steve Roland faked his own death, officially killed in action. After that, he was free to assassinate the president without anyone suspecting him. But he didn't plan on getting squeezed by his employers. Yes, killed by the mongoose. Yet he somehow got back to his wife's house, where he died. Kim Rowland is the one who came up with the dead ringer idea. I arranged for this man to undergo plastic surgery in order to make him resemble Steve Rowland. The bait worked like a charm. The wolves came out of their den. Colonel Amos, this man is innocent. It's high time we started sharing our information. What do you think? They're preparing a coup, General. Two of them are meeting tonight, and I know where. and keep out of sight. If our two suspects sense anything, they'll call off the meeting. Winslow's just arrived. He should be upstairs in less than a minute. Alert, get ready, he's on his way. He's in the meeting room. Copy, go to 1025. Can you connect me to frequency one? Done. Keep backup units on full alert.
Winslow is already there. Practice aiming at him with the shotgun light. Keep him in your sight. Good. Stay on him. Now follow him. They're coming. Get ready. Ah, the mongoose. Come to report the death of number 13, right? I'm here to ensure your safety, Mr. Winslow. Sensei. We're behind schedule. What's the latest update, number nine? I managed to convince them all. Corporate, finance, even the media. This country's most influential people are ready to support the future regime. I have on me the list of supporters. I'll give it to number three tonight while we wait for battle at the Sanctuary. What do you think, number five? Perfect. And on my end, the news is rather encouraging. Despite a slight setback, we'll control all of the country's strategic points by tomorrow evening. Through Operation Total Red, we will finally be able to establish our authority. And as anticipated, <laughs> President Galbraith doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> Winslow's retreated to the billiard room. Come on! This way! The room at the end of the hall! FBI! Come out of there, Winslow! list of supporters. Give me your hand right. up and destroy these documents. I don't smoke, Mr. Winston. We've lost Willard. He can't get away. Oh! You under... The address of the Sanctuary. Their headquarters are Willard's estate. We've got them.
Infiltrate the sanctuary and find their meeting room. I can't wait to see number one's face. They must be on high alert. Keep out of sight until I give you the signal. No. The champagne still hasn't been delivered and I can't reach Mr. Willard. Hmm. Tell them that's not what I'm paid to do. Hmm? Uh. Alert! Seal the egg. Nothing to report. Over. Spent the entire weekend sanding the ship's hull. Next Sunday, we'll apply the anti-fouling. Shut up with the boats. It's making me seasick. Hey, check this out. What? A chopper, over there. Notify HQ. Everyone around here owns a chopper. I'm not calling that in. <sighs> okay, your responsibility. Fine. If you'll cut me some slack for five minutes. Yes.
number one safety is not an issue, General. I'm the only one who knows his identity. Anonymity is more effective than an army of bodyguards. The instructions are clear. We're going ahead with operations. In that case, we'd better go reassure our guests. Um, don't forget your robe. Stay posted in this room. Yes, sir. Some banquet. Indeed. Number five wanted to give us a taste of the luxury that awaits. How will we explain his absence to the guests? I don't know yet. He's not the only one missing. Fisher? Are you there? Check out his paintings, then eat his leftovers from the banquet. Alert! talks about his boat. He went on for three hours about caulking techniques the other day. That guy. Oh, right. Isn't he on the outdoor team tonight? Yeah, him. Hmm? <sighs> what the? What the?
missing VIPs today. Trust me, I have the list of absentees. signal. We need as much information as possible before I launch this launch. will be launched tomorrow morning during Operation Total Red. When number three gives the signal, the SPADS units, supervising the armed forces, will impose martial law on the entire country. In less than 24 hours, the new government will be in place. Let us rejoice in advance at the success of our enterprise and duly celebrate the dawn of a new era! <sighs> Let's not keep the buffet waiting, gentlemen. That's all we need. Leave the sanctuary.
ledge. Okay, jump to the ladder. Senator Walter Sheridan? Carrington told me everything. I want to help you apprehend my brother's killers. There are 20 conspiracy leaders, all of them with influential positions. Their goal is to abolish democracy in our country by imposing a totalitarian regime. There's is a monstrous plan. They aim to take control of the country's strategic network during the war simulation tomorrow. The control center is located in SSH-1. I have access there any time of day or night. That's where we'll find number one. I'm going with you. And then, General, we'll resume our little chat where we left off. to accounting and My God, you're alive. Run to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Welcome to SSH-1, Senator Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. Find another way. I'll walk you out, Colonel.
Good day, Colonel. Oh, um, uh, good evening, Colonel. What the?
President Galbrain is requested at the command post. and doing an SSH-1 during an election campaign. This is sheer provocation. Hide. Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the in which we spend taxpayers' money. It takes my day to do it. By the way, how oh. are my bodyguards? As a matter of fact, sir. Just a second, Calvin. Give some change. President, the spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of total red. Those hotheads? Confound it! Not one machine on this base works! But, Mr. President... Nothing but the dregs of society, recruited by Macaw! Mr. President... But if you feel they're the best... here. I was to escort President Galvin to the control station, but I haven't heard anything. Can you find out what's up? Okay, over. Oh! Shit! 
shit! Alert! Uh. Cooper here. I was oh. Door locked. Ah. God, call up all operations before it's too late. <sighs> Take the president to a safe place and find Sheridan. I've lost contact. Just leave him right here. Mr. 
pleasure, can you hear me? Okay, just breathe. A coup. They're waiting for Calvin Wax's orders to attack. They must be neutralized. Good luck, Colonel. I heard everything. I'll notify Colonel Amos. Wax is number one. We've got him. Teams are in position around the strategic network centers. Prepare to declare a state of emergency. When I give the signal, you will order all SPADS units to take control of every base. Brain, but he's out of commission. No one knows the access code for the missile control room. Find him and abort the process. It's your only chance. There's 2,000 megatons ready to blow right under us. Come on, we've got to leave the base. It's too late. Give me the access code, quick. The code? This way. If I live through this, I'm going into marketing. Damn it! The code! The code! Oh, but is the code! PX420... No! APX604... APH624! That's it!
commencing final phase of destruction sequence. This is not good. Destruction sequence initiated. Destruction sequence canceled. Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason Flack? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone. Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason Flack? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone.
Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason Fly? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone. Scare me like that again, and I'll take you out myself. Come on, let's evac now. You magnificent son of a bitch. You okay, Wally? Is it really over? You bet your ass. <laughs> about my past, General. Son, the day I recruited you, I didn't ask for your resume. I've always hired my boys based on their skills, and you were a cut above. Hmm, what about Jones? You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something.
As a matter of fact, here he is, Jason Fly, our national hero. It's a great honor. How do you like my new uniform? Well... Baby, you are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny, too. I know. Not interested, huh? <sighs> Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. Ah, there he is. Hey, where's your tuxedo? Hello, Fly. Finally we meet under better circumstances. Works not to your liking, Mr. Fly. A 
I'm starting to doubt this man's identity. I've got a Class A hero mission to offer you. Starting to doubt this man's identity. 